Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Christine, and this is part two of my bookcase furniture build. You may have already caught part one. But basically, I saw this piece of furniture on another YouTube channel just by chance. This couple had purchased it from Round Top Texas Antique Fair, and I fell in love with it. So much so that I went on the hunt for something similar, couldn't find it, and that's when a light bulb went off. I could build something similar as a base with a bookcase on top, kind of like this. So I measured my wall, put my plan to paper, got all my dimensions and sizes of the wood that I would need, wrote down all the supplies that I would need, picked up a bunch of lumber from a local supplier, kept my hopes really high, and started to build. So let's see how it turned out. So for this week, we'll start out with a quick trip to Home Depot because although I've already gotten a ton of lumber to build my bottom base, I need to get a few pieces for my top bookcase. So I'll start by grabbing these one by twos to trim out my shelves and the sides of my bookcase. And then I needed to look at trim and molding to get some ideas for the very top of my bookshelf. And I could spend hours looking at molding. It always inspires me for new projects and they had a couple good ones. But basically I wanna do something chunky and beautiful on top of the hutch without taking too much of the shelf space. So I found this inspiration picture and I like the top of it. It's got that classic, elegant, but yet simple look to it. So I just need to grab a couple pieces of trim and molding that I can utilize to build my top. And then I need some plywood for the bottom of my drawer boxes. So I grabbed this big sheet so I can cut it down for the bottom of all my drawers. And for the back of the bookcase, I wanna find something that's a beadboard or shiplap. And then I found this one. The color doesn't come across very good on camera, but I really like it. It's got the true indentations, not the painted on ones. It comes in size four by eight sheets. So I need two of them because this bookcase is going to be quite large. So let's head back, but first, who needs a couple seconds of cuteness? So for the drawers, I literally just built a box. I glued them, clamped them, nailed them. I needed to build six and measured and cut my plywood into small squares to nail to the bottom of each box. And then I'll attach the drawer front to the box with screws and some hardware. Nothing special, but they'll slide in and out with ease and they'll be perfect. And speaking of hardware, if you remember when I got these, it's been a while, but I am so excited to finally use them for this project. So I just need to sand, stain, and then attach the hardware.
And even though I'm sanding everything down smooth, I did beat it up a bit with the back of a hammer, some nail heads, just to give it some dings and dents and make it feel a little weathered and older. So here's a before drawer front, a sanded drawer front, and a sanded, beat up, and stained drawer front, and I love it so much. So let's attach the hardware. So now let's finish the bookcase. I've got my two pieces here of backer board, and I just need to determine how tall. Here's a little sneak peek of where I'm going to put it. You can kind of see the bottom piece I've already finished and put it into place. But I put this up here to try and determine how tall I want it. And the pieces of tape represent where the shelves will be. I want different sizes of shelves, not all the same size. But I'm thinking I want the top line of my bookcase to be something different than the curtain rod and the top of the TV. My curtain rod is 10 and a half feet tall. I don't know what the TV is, but something different so that it's pleasing to the eye and they don't all compete for the same horizontal line. So I measured and determined that nine feet would be perfect. And for those of you that saw my twinners video where I worked so hard on these two hutches, do not worry, I'm not getting rid of them. I'm moving it to a different place in the house where I can just stuff it full of all sorts of fun goodness. And I don't want these new ones to look like a built-in bookcase. Trust me, that would have been so much easier just to attach shelves to each side of the wall. But I really like the look of a piece of furniture, so it will fit tight inside the wall, but just enough space on each side so that you still have that feeling that it's a piece of furniture in between both walls. You'll see here in a minute, kind of like the blue hutches did. Only this time, the bookcases will fit the scale of the tall ceilings a lot better. They'll be much larger, more shelf space, and the blue hutches over time just really felt out of place. So I measured everything and made my cuts for the backer board the trim for my shelves and side pieces, made my holes to attach the screws, and then started to put everything together. And to build my top molding, it's got the trim on top, the wide center, and then the little piece of trim across the bottom. So I just took my wide piece, cut my trim down to a 45 degree angle inside so that I can wrap the molding around the sides. You can see the diagonal right there. So I'll line up and attach the side pieces. And then the small piece of trim on bottom and to give you a quick visual of the size and scale of this furniture build, here is a normal bookcase in my kitchen. It's got the bottom base and then the top bookcase. And then this piece that I put in front of it is just my top hutch only. My shelves, my bookcase, my hutch, whatever you call it. But I'm showing you this because this piece is still going to sit on top of my bottom base which is already about three feet tall. So just to give you an idea of how massive this thing is going to be, I still have to put the top piece on the lid, so to speak. So that'll add another inch and a half to it as well. Think of all the crap I can style it with. I still need to finish staining everything, add the shelves, the trim, the top, beat it up, polish it up, and we are good to go. And I did have to have help lifting this thing into place because it is so heavy. So just a reminder of what my inspiration pieces looked like. And then a big reveal of my first bookcase build and I absolutely love it. And stay tuned till the end 
because I think you'll be surprised what's happening next. stayed until the end, then you probably already realized that these two just do not match. They look very odd paired together. So I've already built an exact twin bookcase, a little sneak peek right there. And by the way, for some reason, the color comes off very orangey on camera, but in real life, they are a really pale light color. I wish you could see the real color, but come back and join me to style and decorate them properly. And most of all, actually, I'm so excited. I have so many fun videos coming up. We are going to be decorating a few rooms in a house on a budget to help some people out. I built a mirror that I love so much that we're gonna donate for part of the decoration. And then we'll do some shopping in Greece and Paris. So thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me today. I truly appreciate it. Give me a big old thumbs up. It sure does help my channel. And I hope the rest of your day is absolutely awesome. We'll see you soon.